You know, this may be a breakthrough hmm. for me. Yeah, what do we have? Because I think you gotta have friends. The <laughs> surrounding. Well, yeah, I def, I've always believed that. I feel like you were the yeah. one who didn't believe it, but mm -hmm. uh, the surrounding. Oh well, yeah, when I try to make a woman my everything, and that like you said, a, where I stop communicating when I get a uh, yeah. relationship. Um, I think that like in. Like, I went to Sedona once before. What was I doing there? I think I, I went there with someone. I think you went to that, like, a gay pride parade or something. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> no, I went there first, and then... But I, I remember it much more fondly from the hmm. Breatharian retreat. And yeah. that kind of made it a lot more... Something I liked. Memorable. Home, yeah. home is where the heart is. And meaningful. I don't know. And so... Huh. Same thing with Vegas. I've been to Vegas in one capacity and another, and I feel totally different. So, it, all of the places I'm mentioning, the circuit. <laughs> like, one thing I loved in Thailand was getting all those massages. Oh my gosh. For cheap? What, $5 a pop? $10, $9, $5 happy ending. Well, no, I didn't. I never bought one, but um, just one nickel. <laughs> no, I just loved it because like they they take you out of the mood so well. I don't have much for strangers touching me, so you you enjoyed the last one when we went to and they had the table shower. Yeah, I don't like the oil on me either. That's but when it's they wash you off after one time that. thing. That was cool. I just I don't like. I don't feel like I want to go and have someone touch me again. Like, Stop and go traffic. See, that's that, that's what the part of me that has always made me wonder about what is in your mind because when it comes to touch, like you are very inconsistent, and so you have you've always had that fear of being gay, and also, <laughs> um, well, but it's a little like over the because I. Who would believe it's called uh, homophobia, but you, mild homophobia. But no one would think you're gay. You don't act gay. You don't have a gay style or gay. I have, I have a expressive, like my hands. Uh, it's like uh, you know, look at Tupac. If you're, if you're like artistic mm -hmm. and very, uh, you're intelligent and you have a way with words. It's. Like that one video was like, oh, he's obviously gay. And it's who knows what the hell if, if they actually believe what they're saying on that video. But they're, tr they're, they're trying to, it's like a persuasive argument. Like, some people see it as androgynous. Like, mm -hmm. uh, or as a male. Well, that, that's, that's where you're like, what is a male? What is a man? Or you're just rigid, strong, very, you know, like your, your words are chosen carefully with power, you know. And I'm not like, not like me, and sometimes scatterbrained and you know, jumping all around, excited like I freaking. I think you don't need to be someone girl. you're not. You are who you are, and those are the things people who like you will like about you. There's no reason to fit into this alpha mold that mm -hmm. is a yeah. television concoction. Yeah, yeah, it's a social media concoction of alpha male, and then what? Now they're just feminizing men anyway. They're yeah. I mean, they look at commercials, and I don't know if they're still doing this, but they, they make the men look retarded and the women look like, you know, the brains of the operation every single time. Oh, yeah, that's Because that's where it gets the laughs. You know, making men look stupid and, and then, you know, incapable of making a decision. Like, what are you, if you're buying something, whether, you know, you know, commercials, whether they're selling a product or insurance, you make the guy look like an idiot and the woman knows the answer. Because if they did the opposite, then they would be the pretty, sexist. Pretty, yeah, they'd be sexist. <laughs> Commercial making fun of women. Women are just as smart as, just as capable. In every single way. And they're equal, you know. No. There's a balance. There's different male and female energy. Yeah. And it's supposed to be in a harmony. Because we're at, we're, we're, that's why you see all these dysfunctional relationships. Because it's out of harmony. People don't have the right expectations. Because the human nature will take over. Your instincts will take over. And, and it'll be, a, it'll be a shock. Like, like, like me getting angry recently because now I'm like dude I was like compromising my own my own desires to 
to cater to her emotional whims, you know, which is changing with the freaking wind. So that doesn't make any sense. I, I'm like more stable with my desires and I need to start leading, um, you know, start leading a relationship, you know, start out with, the, with, with a leading role because I am, men are more stable in what they want and we're future thinking and women are more uh, emotional thinking and feeling. Generally, yeah. yeah. That we got about 60 more miles. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to message a guy.